Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So me and my lovely friend Notka are gonna do a vegan one meal a day mukbang. And I think he's actually ate something a little bit beforehand, did you? I just had a green smoothie. Ah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, so 10 minutes ago. Yeah, there you go. And how long are you fast today? Um, just about 20 hours today. Yeah, nice, and yeah, around 22 hours for me. And we've got a whole of these. Like, if you want to show them what you've got and tell them what you've got, and then I'll go through mine. That's a good question because yeah. I've never been here before. I ordered and already forgot what I got, but I've got the menu here. Yeah. So, um, like, the first one was the little bowl of yeah, goodness. Get up and show them it. Yeah, sure. Give them a close view. So, there we go. And what's that got in there? It does have um, a lot of brown rice, sweet potatoes, pumpkins, um, black beans, also very good for the protein, you know. Yeah, very and good, high protein, high carb. Yeah. And also got some tempeh in it, which I personally love. Yeah, Tastes good um, if it's done right. <laughs> yeah, and, um, exactly, yeah. Yeah, very healthy, fermented yeah. uh, foods in general, good for your Gut flora, yeah, for the probiotics, make feel really good. And yeah, what's and you got this as well, which is. And then we have the California bowl. Yeah. Um, Danny didn't like the seaweeds, so uh, he, I got extra, yeah, extra um, topping of seaweed. Yeah. And nice. um, again, brown rice, also tempeh in it, um, sweet potato, some tomatoes, and pumpkin seeds. Yeah, that's about it. All oil free, all sugar free, that stuff at least. Like, and this that I just went and got. If, what is, what's this one then? Actually, I don't even know okay, what so This is a vegan banoffee pie, and it is one of my favorite from it's Eco. It's delicious. Eco is one of the best places in Copenhagen, Thailand for dessert. Like, wow. It goes there every day, yes, at least once. Pretty much every day. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's his food. I've got ice cream here which is melting slowly. We've got a strawberry one, vanilla one, a, a passion fruit one and a caramel one. I'm gonna eat that first. Look at that. All refined sugar free. Well, it doesn't contain white sugar, it contains coconut sugar. I've got one of those little bowls of goodness here. Got one of the California bowls. California bowl also comes with some sort of cashew dip. Uh, not sure what the other one is, and a red pepper dip as well. And then, yeah. Got some of the lovely, lovely cake. We've got this green juice, which I'm going to break the fast with, that I've left for a while, so it's started to separate a bit. I haven't actually tried it yet. Mm. That's a pretty good juice. That juice is. Uh, where is it? It's on the back. It's, uh, yeah, the ca kale, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fresh kale, lime ginger, mint with a dash of pineapple. Mm. Yeah, I had that one before as well because um, when I was waiting for Danny, I felt like I wasn't even hungry yet, which uh, surprised me because I've been experimenting with uh, one meal a day only since about two weeks. And already now, like two weeks in, um, I don't even feel hungry after 20, 21 hours. I'm still like kind of, I could last longer and, and just not eat. But we had this appointment now, so I thought starting it with little, breaking the fast with a little greens always a good idea. Yeah. Easy to digest, yeah. lots of uh, micronutrients, nutrition, nutrition. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah and, and now I actually now I actually got hungry. Mm. Like ten minutes after that, kind of stimulates the appetite. Exactly, yeah. especially once you get this food around you. When I went get the ice cream and the cheesecake, wow, my hunger really kicked in. Yeah, got a load of Nandok Mai mangoes here as well. Just come into fruit season in Thailand, so have them after the juice, let them digest a bit, and then I'll snack on all this other stuff. And I better hurry up because, yeah, I need to get onto the ice cream. Maybe I might even skip the mangoes and leave them today with see, but see how impatient I'll become. <laughs> yeah, the ice cream looks like it's on the edge of uh, still ice cream. Mm -hmm. Looks uh, more. Uh, there's lots of flies. What's this one? Peanut, Peanut butter. butter. Unsweetened, extra crunch, no sugar, high protein. Not so I normally have, but I want more protein. You're gonna eat that at once, like that? Mm. Like, no, just like no. The whole thing has a thousand three hundred calories in it. All right, mm -hmm. like uh, basically a little snack for one meal a day, people. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it in there. Oh, that's a good idea. What a really good idea. That's a good idea. 
actually I think I'm gonna start with the sweet stuff as well, banana. What's it called again? What's the name? It's like a banoffee. Banoffee pie. Benofi. It's like a banoffee. Um, no idea. Yeah, it's English like words that are meat missing. and cream on top with bananas underneath, and it's sort of like a chocolate nut or seed base, something like that. All right. Yeah, I want to go for that person. Yeah, I'm trying to fit everything on the camera because there's a lot here, but I'm doing our best. Alrighty. Yeah, ice cream. Hmm. I'm a little predicament. I'm like, hmm, should I just skip mangoes? Who knows? What do you reckon? Say something, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave the mangoes. Alright, thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that one can go there. <laughs> just because I can see this ice cream man really quickly, I don't want to eat fruit. We Comment hashtag fruit. mango to win one of yeah. those mangoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick it up in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that juice will take a few minutes to go down. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be a... Uh, yeah. Well what I'm gonna do, is see if that you can give me a bowl. Hmm. Yeah, we might oh Lord. get us a bowl. Actually I know what to do. Good? How good is that? Seriously, like this is... Watch his expression on his face when he eats it. I haven't had that version of this dessert, but I ate in the same place in eat.co dessert similar to this before, which was amazing. But this one, this is the next level. Oh Jesus, that's why well, I keep going there. <laughs> it's almost rude. It's almost rude how fucking good that is. That's like one of that's one of the foods that you should give. That's what you should feed all those non-vegans that are you know complaining yeah, that yeah, vegan yeah, yeah. food is not good. Like this is just so delicious. Yes, yeah, that's the real deal. It's like oh there we go. Messing up the nice wooden plates. Of <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny looking. What kind of flavors did you get? <laughs> looks, looks a little weird, doesn't it? That's all right. <laughs> can I try a little bit of that? Yeah, can. Of that? <laughs> oh yeah. Go for it. I've never done that before, but it's uh, always a first for everything. So, yeah. And yeah, a lot of that, I'm just going to have to go <laughs> suck it off the plate. And it's going to be a messy eating, so yeah, be warned. Don't like messy eating. Don't Looks watch like this video. It's one bite for him. Watch this. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> just pour it down my neck. <laughs> they help me get those games quicker because we need all that protein. Yeah, bro, you need to warm up for your pizza challenge, man. Oh, you got to practice your yeah. eating skills. Oh. For sure. Mm. I am the ice cream king. I keep going to like places and buying one flavour of ice cream, we're not buying it all out. I go back the next day, like, no, we all got the flavour. I had this three days in a row. Ordered all the strawberry one from Eco. Well, I didn't know I had. I come back the next day, I said, no, you ordered it all yesterday. Then I got loads of caramel the next day. Come back the next day, I said, no, we got no caramel. And then I went and bought all the vinegar the next day, and they run out of that one. So I'm their favourite customer, for sure. And it's about, I wouldn't say it's cheap, for sure. It's definitely cost quite a lot of some money. A lot of time I'm spending on cake and ice cream alone. Around $15, something like that. But I'm worth it. Better than on drugs? Yes. Or cars or, yeah. you know, yeah. know, women that are not friendly. Yeah. <laughs> or other stupid shit. Okay, the juice is gone. Like he's mentally for one another, morning and night. It's almost like this is what he's doing. But then she's like, Jeez, man, with the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to try a little bit. That is which nice. flavor is it? Everything. <laughs> Did you try it with the peanut butter? Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. It's really good. We should, he's, not even, he's not even enjoying it, he's just like shuffling it in. No. <laughs> Too cold! Mm. Oh wow! Karma coffee. Karma. Oh my god. And all this stuff at the bottom, it's all like liquidy. Oh my god. Mm. Try some of that. You've got to try that man. By the way, 
if I would be at home and not look like a weirdo on camera, I would actually lick all of that out of that little weird paper container. Oh, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> How good is that? Mm. This is like I seriously I never ate ice cream that tasty before. Really not. It's like especially the peanut butter. Should get the recipe. If you know the recipe of Eat.co's yeah. ice cream, or you have a chance to steal it in some way or another, do it. Mmm, they told me. Ah, they told you? Okay, no need to steal it. Coconut sugar, coconut cream, coconut milk, and then the flavouring. That's it. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Is now, mm. now we're going to take it to a whole new level. This, <laughs> with that, and the peanut butter, well that's too much ice cream. It's going to freeze my brain off. <laughs> You're the, you're, he's really the ice cream master of Pangan. I'm usually not that much into ice cream. I think it's the first time in almost like probably a year or two that I eat ice cream. Yeah. But because, I, think I mean, there's not that much vegan ice cream around. No. Sometimes you well, see it on menus. It seems to happen in, Ch there is a place called um, I love you in Chiang Mai. It does. It's a be it's almost all vegan ice cream, and they do so many flavors. And there, and here, I've had so many friends aren't into ice cream, but once they spend time right. around me, <laughs> this will get my up. I think you got me into it. I think next time, but I I would probably rather just because of my yeah stomach, my digestion is maybe not uh, super very healthiest and strongest still. Um, or yet, and um, so I might actually finish my meals with something like that rather than start yeah. it. But you, you find both ways, right? Yeah, my digestion is really, really good. Yeah, lucky you. But yeah, I noticed that my uh, digestion from coming from um, a raw food, vegetarian diet, pre or um, trying one meal a day. I have to say that uh, one meal a day is much, much easier on my digestion, although I'm eating way more cooked food and um, also fat, which I usually oh. didn't eat at all before. I want other people to try this because it's so good. <laughs> I start offering it to people in the restaurant. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I think I'm going to start with uh, one of the bowls now. Place. Mm. Seriously. If anyone that says vegan food is boring is not eating good vegan food, but they haven't tried good yeah. They just don't awesome. have any understanding of vegan food. Mm. And this stuff is far from vegan junk food. This stuff is even though it's ice cream and that. It's still very, very healthy, like I said, no refined sugar. Like no oil, no preservatives, additives, anything like that. I like. It. Well, this is Asia. You can't get loads and loads of junk food where you can in certain places, but compared to America, no, no, no. That's actually also a little sweet, maybe because of the pumpkin. The barbecue uh, sauce and the barbecue sauce. Mm. I can eat so many more calories when I eat ice cream with my meal. It's a good way for me to get enough calories to build muscle mass from that. Mm. They have some really strange new flavours at Lek at the moment. Pumpkin and chopped chip. Pumpkin mango and chopped chip. Kiwi. Some really strange one. Oh. Where's that? Lek? Where's yeah. that? Uh, Oxy Co. Mm -hmm. 
they're the ones that actually make the ice cream. Mm. I want to buy it in bulk, but I haven't got a freezer big enough. You need three. Yeah, that would make sense for you. <laughs> With that ice cream consumption. Yeah, it's so cheap in bulk, like seriously. Okay, I keep trying to find friendly mics that are freezer big enough. I love those beans. Mm. Mm. No waste. So no waste. if anyone's watching. I remember it was at Raw Food Festival before and I was working at the cafe and they said if you don't lick the plate it shows you didn't enjoy the food so everyone that worked there would have to lick their plate. <laughs> My pizza challenge is in two days, 60 by 30 centimetre vegan pizza and he actually went and tried the vegan pizza, not the biggest one though but... Yeah, I think it's good that I tried before. Because Yeah, what was the issue you said? <clears throat> well, we got there, me and a friend of mine, and we were super hungry. And so we were still smart enough to order only one first. And so it was the only vegan um, pizza on the menu. And um, we didn't really read the ingredients or anything. We just ordered the vegan pizza, got it. It looked really good. But then um, we were both slightly turned off the sweet taste of it and we couldn't really so it was sweet pizza it tasted sweet it did definitely have some sort of sugar or anything in it like that it was making it definitely yeah. sweet and um, really? so it's very strange in, yeah and they had as an um, cheese replacement basically or vegan alternative for cheese they had some sort of peanut mix something with peanuts and I think there was sugar in it or what, some sweet topping or what? Yeah it was like little chunks that probably were supposed to look like cheese and this was what tasted quite sweet actually ah. so yeah but That's strange. now that he knows he told them and asked yeah. for no oil no, no oil, sugar. No sugar. So he said they will so that was good that he went I think that was meant to be for mine because eating a huge pizza was like how he had would not be so good. I don't think I'd be able to finish it if it tasted like that like, at all. Mm. Yeah, actually. Place clean, we can give it back to them, they can reuse it. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> so you've got these sauces, and one of them, that one has got sugar in it. Mm. I think that's what we sugar in. You tell me. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm not going to eat that. No. Not into the sugar. Well, it might actually be coconut sugar. Not just a little bit. Maybe we ask him when he's coming back. What if it's coconut sugar? Or sugar? Mm. Yeah. Um, now I'm getting it right. I'm like, where's the more dessert? I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me, brother. Um, this sauce here, this dressing, is that with sugar? Or did it's this yeah. What kind of sugar is in there? Is it like coconut sugar? sugar? Yeah, maybe it's sugar. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Coconut sugar, not any other sugar. So maybe we'll have that then. Then come back. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Oh, that ice cream is so good and bad in peanut butter. Man, why not have thought of that before? Thank you. What's that? Coconut sugar. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Even more. Thailand. <laughs> Gotta love it. You be heard us, but now we've got coconut sugar. You want some? Also? <laughs> just, just ask. That's funny. You can't understand. Nice. <laughs> It actually tastes better. Mm. Wow, that's actually really enjoyable to go from the sweet to savory. Mm.
Super, super healthy, but wow. That's like lots of turmeric, right? And some um, red pepper. Red pepper. Mm -hmm. But also turmeric, you think? Or turmeric? I think it's over the color. Mm. It, mm. it smells like it. Man, I really love this kind of food as well. I love all of this food. Tempeh is such a high protein source. Mm. Uh, when it's barbecued, like when it's uh, well prepared and um, grilled or roasted, it's really nice. Uh, it's much better than the raw version. Mm. <coughs> More tasty. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Yeah, I highly recommend coming to Karma Cafe. It's absolutely amazing, really environment, lovely staff, really high quality food. I'm friends with the owner, she's really lovely. Not the cheapest, but you get what you pay for. Mm. Mm. Actually, it's really good price, I think. For for the quality, right? The yeah, for what they're putting in other places, stuff. Yeah. it's quite mm -hmm. yeah, reasonable. Yeah. No. Yeah, and they I would say that a lot of their portion sizes are bigger than Eco, and Eco costs as much, if not more. Um, mm. Man, that tempeh, mm. real barbecue tempeh. Man, I'm really enjoying the food today, like a lot. Me too. It's the first time that I'm here. Um, although I know most of the other healthy food places on Pangan, but Karma Cafe, I've been here before, but didn't eat here. Mm. And Danny told me a couple of times about that uh, he's coming here quite a lot. So I had to check it out, and I have to say it's like it's really, really nice, really good. I love it. Yeah. Mm. There must be coconut nectar. Yeah, that's a, that's a good recipe. That's not just coconut sugar. Coconut sugar doesn't come out of there. Oh wow. Yeah, that's coconut flour nectar. Mm. That's what it is. Whoa. What should that eat? That to the ice cream. <laughs> that to the ice cream. Yeah, it's a good recipe. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. That's a dangerous combination. I love it when you when you eat quite heavy food like that that actually makes you full on nutrient dense food mm -hmm. and you still feel even when you're full you still feel light like you still feel you know like your your stomach is really able to manage it very well yeah easy not yeah no yeah. sensation of bloating or no. any discomfort but just like full and happy and light still yeah. um, I love that and like if you eat KFC or some garbage like that this weighs you down so much it weighs you down yeah. man I never get bored of a vegan diet ever I used Definitely to eat not. like a sort of standard American diet like so much fast food so much meat, I don't miss any of that food. I think it's becoming easier and easier to become vegan, especially in Western civilization countries. So many companies selling all types of vegan food, like so many vegan restaurants, like really made easy for a lot of people in a lot of countries. I think to me it seems like it's even easier to eat vegan really super yummy compared to eat non-vegan super really yummy like i don't know if yeah. there's any app like i mean i love food and i've been eating lots of crap in my life i've been eating everything but since i'm vegan i feel like like plant-based dishes in general are just 
even more advanced, mm. I think. Maybe because there's more, I don't know, more effort being done to make them really yeah. tasty. That's what it seems yeah. like to me. And um, yeah, since I became um, yeah vegan since like almost like seven years, um, I've had much much better, much much better meals since then, and have like found a couple of new favorite dishes and wouldn't want to miss them anymore. Mm. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember on my vegan journey, sometimes I slipped up early on. And I remember trying things like Ben and Jerry's ice cream that I used to love, and it tastes horrible. But yeah, this ice cream I had is the best ice cream I've ever had out of all ice cream in the world. Yeah, we both live in Thailand, not because we've been here for seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, originally in Thailand. Yeah. yeah, if you need more sun and um, a little bored at home with your day-to-day -day life, come to Pangan for a holiday and check it out. I'm pretty sure chances are high that you get stuck here. It's just too nice. Uh, at least you're gonna think about if it's somehow possible and how it would be possible to spend more time here. That's at least how it started for me and many other people living here. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> I think a natural, normal reaction to what happens when you come here and check it out for yeah. the first time. Yeah, well, me and Tyler, I didn't know I was gonna live here, and I've been here for three years now. <laughs> Mm. Good. The seaweed here. Pump down. It's different. Like, <clears throat> tastes healthy, <laughs> but it's not the very nicest uh, consistency, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a little. It's not dry, it's not wet, it's something in the middle. Like, actually, it's dry, but like it's really kind of like, oh, and it tastes a little, it's a little hard to chew. It's bummed down for the seaweed. Sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> Natural sauce is potent, don't throw the whole thing in like I did. Could I waited a little? So yeah, with the pizza, was it a small round pizza you got? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like a, you know, mm -hmm. medium-sized table and plate, like the one uh, that you have the mangoes on. So they're gonna make you. 60 by 30 centimeters, which I don't know how much that is. I haven't got a tape measure. 60 and 30. What, 60 by 30? Mm -hmm. It's a 60 wide, <coughs> 60 length, and then 30 wide. 60 centimeters will be. But that's, uh, that should be easily doable, do you reckon? Or you, do you think it's going to be a lot? Uh, I have no idea. I'm trying to drag all these foods to get out of the way, won't it? Getting the mango for a couple, they're not meant to be in the sea because they're eating. I have no idea because it depends like how thick the cheese is on top, how like dense it is. Right. So many factors. Mm. I've been to a place with a vegan buffet in the care. They had vegan pizza with loads of vegan cheese on fake meat. And I could just keep eating it and eating it and eating it. And that was on top of all the other food I was eating. Right. So that's my only experience I have. Yeah. yeah. Well, the pizza that I ate there was. I think if they just make this one bigger, you're gonna 
be fine eating it. Yeah, yeah. But if they put a lot of more stuff on it, then it could be like a real challenge. Yeah. Let's see. Man, this is so good as well. I love the protein, like the beans and the crunch and everything. All the different textures, of like the pumpkin, the sweet potato, and beans and rice. Mm. I don't remember my food tasting this good recently, actually I do, but this is like <laughs> 10 times. Sometimes I turn to my taste buds. Did they add vegetables to it? Too much? The pizza. Yeah, there was um, tomatoes, mushrooms, I remember, onions. Mm. And um, what else was on there? Ah, some capsicum, peppers. And um, yeah, that's basically it that I remember. Yeah, yeah. let's see. When, when is it? Where well, it's either going to be, oh, I have this thing in my head that it's going to be too easy. Mm. Then they're saying in the back of my head, it's like, mm, maybe not. Like, be in two days at 7 pm. No, I don't want to eat that late, but I ain't got a choice. <laughs> I'm going to be very strategic about it. Tomorrow I'm going to do some exercise the day after. <coughs> then a calorie restrict tomorrow. And then early in the day, then I'm going to fast around like 26 hours. I'm going to take a CBD extract product before, a really high dose one that I take on a regular basis, which kicks in hunger like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really good planning. Like a competition eater would do, so to speak. And I've learned well from some of them. Else. Oh, it would be good to have a place that has ice cream nearby though, just vegan. Because if I get full and eat one scoop of ice cream and one mouthful, it makes my hunger go through the roof and I don't feel full again. <laughs> this California bowl, I really like it because it has a lot of veggies in there, lots of greens. Mm -hmm. And that kind of, it's even more of an adventure to eat this one because of all those different <laughs> textures yeah. and um, no yeah. textures and flavors, textures and and flavors yeah. yeah it's nice it's like love it and I just love like, like greens dark leafy greens it's mm. like like so so nice and then there was me that used to hate almost all plant food I wouldn't eat anything if it was green <laughs> When I was around 18 years old, I lived off fast food. I used to spend like around, I don't know, $150 a week or so on fast food. Pizzas galore, KFC, McDonald's. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Well, the things we did to our bodies, mm. yeah. I've had big regrets myself, um, thinking back, just feeling guilty of what I've been putting through my system before. And um, yeah, but I'm still I'm glad that I kind of got it still in time, yeah. like to reverse disease and feel better again and actually enjoy this kind of meals now and have more energy. So. It's a blessing, yeah, it helps us get a very like body fat oh, percentage as well, like easily, <laughs> even with eating loads of food. No. No calorie restriction or calorie counting here. Yeah, that's a banned word in my life. No. Not just like yeah, a kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of, you know, putting this groove in there. <laughs> 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 Being about work to work with the ice cream, but eating with these dishes, the dishes are like not as wet as the ice cream. Trying to eat it with this, so it's just no go. 
So we keep that for cakes and ice cream. Where did you get that? Um, Limpy Pond, the organic, well, it's organic right. shop. Mm. Yes, it's like this, almost like a ladder. Yeah, yeah, and there's like rooms everywhere. It goes. Norway's taking my EPA, DHA, micro supplement. Always take it with dinner. Think we ask about supplements. Keep mentioning this one for research. What you need with supplements is copper and iron. In. Take five of those because I take one in the morning. Um, one total of six in a day. Um, but yeah, taking more than one on every summer is going to make you feel sick. Um, yeah, taking them with food maximizes absorption as well. Wow. What is it good for? Like, what does that do? It's with it? Just gives you all, just gives you every nutrient that you that you're not necessarily getting enough in your mm. diet or well, enough on your diet. So right. rather than take any risk of any yeah, diet, you take these and then you make sure you get all the nutrients that you need for supplementation for. Which all diet well, I haven't met anyone that's got nutritional deficiencies unless they've done extensive supplementation. But, mm. yeah. Huge. I always take them with food rather than water so they go down easier a lot of people don't. Mm. Starting to get full, for sure. <laughs> I also had a coconut water before, but you didn't see that. Mm. Yesterday was funny. I messaged a friend, said, Do you want to go out and eat? Then I went to an Indian buffet, had a huge plate of food. They do these huge plates. Got halfway through and they messaged me and said, Oh, do you want to meet up and eat now? I was like, Oh, okay. So I left there after I finished. I was stuck. I only met them 10 minutes afterwards. Then I ended up eating like the banoffee pie again, the cheesecake, <laughs> some other things as well. Like, yeah, I was absolutely stuffed. But yeah. Mm, always room for more. Do you sometimes, um, after eating like a meal like this in the evening, then getting hungry again? Do you get hungry again and then kind of pull through? Or like. Is it more a rarity that you actually... As long as I eat enough, then it's fine. Right. Yeah, as long as I yeah. eat a lot. If I under eat, which I've done some times recently, then I get hungry again. Mm. Yeah. That's why so many people get hungry for multiple meals throughout the day, because they're just eating such a little amount of calories in one sitting yeah. Or maybe also not so nutrition dense, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I feel when I eat stuff like that, yeah. like those kind of bowls with lots of yeah beans and or quinoa yeah. and stuff like that, and also veggies, like lots of nutri uh, nutrients. Yeah. Then um, I feel good. I feel really fulfilled, although it wasn't really that much, even in calories, yeah. even much less calories, but just more nutrition. And then I feel satiated anyways yeah yeah because it's not all about macronutrients at all like micronutrients as well and i've remembered before in the past when i was vegan and still am vegan obviously getting friends to try vegan food for the first time that was nutrient dense vegan food and they got stuffed like so easily mm -hmm. and then it's me that's just eating 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 because i'm used to it but yeah that is an amazing little bowl. I thought it was oil that they broke out. Mm. It looks like it. <laughs> mm. Not to is starting a YouTube channel. So, definitely go and check it out. <coughs> And he's been posting a lot of videos on a regular basis of what he's making me aware of. He's made yep. seven recently. I don't know if they're all up yet, but yeah, now I now I gotta put them up. You yep. there we go. Yeah. So yeah. Leave me some feedback. Yeah, Link down below it. for his no. channel. Go subscribe, check out his videos, share them about, like his videos, comment on them.
Yeah, another person that is getting to live an amazing life in Cabo Game Kylo. Yeah, hopefully, it can inspire you, motivate you to become a better version of yourself. Well. Yeah, I'm poor, but I'm not overly poor. I am thinking about ice cream again. <laughs> Mm. I think once I eat that, I'm really fine and I'm done. Yeah, this stuff is too, too strong. It just tastes like pure sugar, pretty much. Too much. Yeah. It's like soy sauce, but I think soy sauce with a lot of sugar added to it. Yeah. You think that's soy sauce, huh? Soy sauce, with maybe, too maybe much sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got some sort of black sugar soda in there. Two, two other people wanted to come to the restaurant. I'm glad that they cancelled because they just want me out of fit on the camera. <laughs> you have to eat around the soup, we just pretend they're not there. Uh -huh. Mm. That's a good variety of food. And I don't feel tired afterwards. I feel still awake, very awake. And yeah, that was a really enjoyable meal. Like everything was so, so enjoyable. Karma Cafe and Eco, the main places I go to. Um, I normally go to a Garmo lot, but that's been closed for a week for renovation. So, yeah, we are here. It's all good, it's getting us to eat other places. Mm. And there's a lot of vegan restaurants around here that I haven't been to, like Green Gallery, Taboom. Mm. It's not just vegan food at Taboom, but. So mm. many different Akasha. You have to check out the Iranian place, like it's called the Persian Experience. Ah, you said this one to me. Very nice. What type of food? Mm. Well, they have vegan and non vegan food. Um, but the vegan aubergine stew, that's what I had, yeah. was really delicious, also very filling, filling and um, yeah, wasn't oily, wasn't fat, was nice. pretty, pretty nice, clean food. Yeah. Nice. We, we probably do a mat bang there again soon. Yeah. Stay for that one. Yeah, I'm full. I'm satiated. But I could eat a lot more food. Do I need to? Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to stretch my stomach at the moment for this pizza. <laughs> or is that just me trying to make an excuse to eat more food? Maybe. Yeah, my hands at the moment are destroyed from the muscle ups I was doing. I can't actually train any upper body at the moment. Like, uh, look at this. Jesus, it's like, yeah, 12, 12 muscle ups, two rounds, and it just destroyed my hands. So. I think I've never had that happen before though. I think it's because I used the chalk. You did use it? I used the chalk right. and I, th I thought about after I think what the chalk was doing was not allowing my hands to slide so easily mm. so mm. then it was causing friction mm. so yeah Maybe. with muscle ups no chalk I, anything else but because mm. I've never had that happen before ever on those bars and yeah I couldn't finish my workout I did keep pushing through but I was like, yeah, I, was like I need to stop this is <laughs> a lot of pain Maybe it would make it harder to heal my hands. And yeah, I love doing calisthenics. Don't about calisthenics. It's also known as bodyweight training. You use your own bodyweight training. Can do weighted calisthenics, which I'm doing a lot of that at the moment. Get a different belt, add weight to my body. Doing push-ups, all different variations, and I add it to my back. Um, yeah, love it. It's helped me get an amazing physique, lean, muscular, rich, really, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, help me gain over 10 kilos of muscle. I'll used to be stick thing, cyclist and runner. Typical weak looking vegan, so to speak. But, uh, yeah. So I think we are done for now. I may go and get somewhere, go somewhere else and get food. 
maybe not. And every time I've said maybe not, hundred percent of the time I've gone back to see this time. It might be a different story this time. Who knows? Uh, yeah, really enjoyable experience. We hope you've enjoyed it as well. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go and get ice cream at Eco. Not to go want some, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some more because I still feel like I could eat so much food. So yeah, there's Notka, and there's my lovely friend Heinen as well that's turned up. And yeah, this is lovely new Denise. friend we just made. And I yeah. love food. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she needs to join us on the mukbang yeah. videos. <laughs> She said she would have had some of the ice cream, and I said I wanted to get it out of people, but I didn't She's want to ask anyone. She's just about to start a YouTube channel as well yeah. about desserts on Kumbangan. Yes, <laughs> yes. full-time job, being an eater. So by the time this video is uploaded, you can find her details yeah. down yeah. below. <laughs> Check yeah. her out. <laughs> See, you've got the first thousand yeah. views on yeah. the first video. Really, it's just going to start. Just going to start now. Start. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, what yeah. do I eat first? Yeah. That's a good question. Everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. okay, cool. So we're going to get on our way and have an amazing rest of this vegan feast. So yeah, we're now here at Lovey Lovey Eco. I've got ice cream, we've waiting a while. Mine came up first, so it's melting again. I've got the blueberry lime cheesecake covered in chocolate sauce, which they added to me. She read my mind, I said, like, I want chocolate sauce, even though I'm not into chocolate. And then she went, do you want it? I was like, sure. What have you not got? And here, a little beautiful piece of sweetness called Twix. Yeah. Much healthier than the original yeah. one. Yeah, raw vegan, that one. And there's another friend that's appeared oh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> she needs to join in as well. Look, they just put chocolate sauce on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cake is that? Uh, blueberry lime cheesecake. I knew you'd be on a dessert by now. Yeah, well, we bought loads and took it to Karma Cafe and then we came for more. And what else we got here? Some so um, caramel ice cream. It looks a little melted already. We poured peanut butter all over it. <laughs> You're gonna have to try. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some potatoes. Oh, vegan yeah. potato salad. Yeah, yeah. vegan potatoes. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's getting hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice Burmese salad. Yes. Oh, no, it's very, very good food. So yeah. Then we go to town. Oh, let's get started. Um, yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, take some of the twin ice cream. Mm. I think we better come back soon because she needs to try this. We've got to try and fit her in as well. I know what we do. We can zoom out the camera a bit while we're recording. Then she can fit in. Two. There we go. <laughs> Any? You <laughs> 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 reckon on the mm. cake as well? <laughs> Probably. Just put it in everywhere. <laughs> That's, we've done a lot of that peanut butter. <laughs> Come on. Just mm -hmm. mess it up. Taste. <laughs> so good. Dad. Oh. Score. Yeah, it's all good fun. Until someone gets hurt. We're not gonna get hurt. <laughs> oh, man. Until someone gets brain freeze. It feels like I already got a little bit of brain freeze going on. Here. So good. Peanut butter and that ice cream on that cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dream of that tonight. <laughs> look at that. And look, yeah, look at that. Really like, that. Gee. <laughs> I'm going to town today. I got a little wow. bit of peanut butter on there. I feel this like, like <laughs> nothing that makes me like want to get some dessert after. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to Instagram that. Yes, <laughs> that looks like that's a good idea. idea. Food porn. Yeah. yeah. Food porn famous. Yeah. What a brilliant idea. That's gonna go on mouth orgasm. Exactly. <laughs> good, good idea. <laughs> Copy that. Yeah, it's a good idea. And Tiffany's going to try this in a second. We're having so much fun today with this mutt bag. <laughs> I need to try your potatoes. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, very yes. good. Go around there. Okay. I almost, I almost 
got them. And then. And you've seen Tiffany in one or two Mutt Rain videos before. She loves food, just like a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on one meal a day as well. Yeah. Mm, yeah, oh. one meal a day. Yeah, they're one of my favorite dishes I can get in most days, the potato dish. Yeah, very good. And it's not oily, like, mm. super clean. Oh, I should have got that. Super keen and clean. Have you, have you guys had the pho yet here? No. Okay, I got it. What's much. that? It's like a, I think it's a Vietnamese dish. Noodles, pho, 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 P-H-O. Okay. It might be pronounced different, that's what I've heard it mm -hmm. called. Yeah. I, I have never had one ever, but I just wanted the noodles. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Strawberry vanilla caramel. Yeah, that's exactly it. I was like, what? <laughs> what is your friend? Or what is your name for? What's your friend? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah. What's your name? Freya or Tiffany. Freya. Or Tiffany. Yeah, well, he's a different Yeah, I always say it to everyone, she's Freya and Tiffany. Freya yeah. Tiffany, we just call yeah. her. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> good to meet you. So what did you just order? Like you yeah, what wanna... did you just order? Pho. What is it though? It's, you'll see, it's like, it's noodles, rice noodles, uh, a broth, and I think some veggies on the side. Yeah. yeah. And I think I might get the potatoes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Probably yeah. a dripper. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Whoa. <laughs> 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 That's like overload, sweetness overload. Got to add it with the peanut butter and the ice cream. What was that again? The blueberry? Blueberry lime cheesecake. Mm. Yeah, I think Whoa. That's one of the yeah. sweetest things I've ever eaten. Yeah. That's a really dense cake. Whoa. Mm. What's that one down here? Blueberry lime cheesecake. Oh, the blueberry lime. Mm. This one is really heavy. Yeah, that's, that's like. Try that one. Jesus! I'm barely get through the bait. Yeah. Oh! I wish we got that one. <laughs> Better. That's oh. just more. That one needs. That one's more intense, I think. Oh really? Yeah. Try with the ice cream as well. Bit of everything? Yeah. Many rhymes. Oh. Wow, the strawberry. The strawberry is the king. Well, I'm definitely not gonna get hungry tonight. <laughs> I'm so full already. No, this is just like topping it off. What, what did you already yeah. have? Cheese brown? Um, like the California oh. bowl and the little, what's it called? Little bowl of goodness. Little bowl of goodness. Of goodness yeah. mm -hmm. mm. That twinks mm. is intense. <laughs> She's not going to like that one, I guarantee I'll, I'll try a little. <laughs> it's not nice. It's not nice? You see. Well, I'm so it's really hard to get through the base. No, go, go for it, please. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that's like a... It's like a candy bar. It's just like yeah. a candy bar. Yeah. Sugar. Oh. <laughs> a lot of sugar. Yeah, I don't... So I, I eat out maybe once a week. And right. It's usually just a sweet potato or pumpkin. And so all this is very... Very intense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you usually eat? Fruit. You do one meal a day on fruit, fruits, right? Fruits, fruit, vegetables, and then I've incorporated yeah. more fat and protein, but it's usually like a, a tempeh patty. To the, towards the end, then you towards start with end. fruits and then top uh, end. Yeah, end of yeah the fruit. majority of my calories is the nice. fruit. And nice. then, um, yeah, all raw except for when I come out every so often. Mm. Yeah, the tempeh, and then I'll have maybe soaked seeds or coconut meat. And nice. Or a savory dish with you know veggies and yeah. fat to eat. 
How long have you been doing that, like that? Like with the like only that? the day and I guess it's now almost, it was March, April, May, yeah, two months. Mm. Yeah. Feeling crazy. better than before? Yeah, mm. I've, I always um, have eaten similar, yeah. but throughout the day, or two, I've been doing intermittent fasting for yeah. Um, so, yeah. For years, yeah, yeah. three years, mm -hmm. like three or four years, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was starting to do more fasting once a week, and um, I realized how beneficial it was. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to fast more. And then nice. when this guy came around, and I was like, Oh yeah, okay, we could do one meal a day. I can yeah. fast mm -hmm. longer. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the benefits of fasting, not only for the health, but also just clarity of mm -hmm. mind and spiritually as well. Mm -hmm. I remember when you come in from vegan and you saw me eating one meal the other day and he was like, wow, you get to eat all this food that's not so healthy, you can get away with it. I wouldn't be able to do that and binge out on loads of food. Well, it was, mm. it was mostly the binging because I've always, like, yeah, I always eat a lot, always eat a lot. And so, um, to do it all in one mm. go is, is perfect for me. Yeah, I'm not feeling bad about it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. well, Stuffing your face you once. Can't, you can't yeah. really eat too much uh -huh. one yeah. True. A day, like, oh. it's hard to, to, to overeat too much on one meal. Yeah, that's true. But I can overeat on multiple meals, for yeah. sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how, how big is your eating window like that? Now like I've extended hours, a little or? bit more. Yeah, sometimes three hours. Yeah. Um, Are you? For a while there I was doing an hour, two hours, in the beginning. Yes. But then I realized I'm doing more for a healing reason, so yeah. I've been really paying attention to my digestive and mindful well, I thought eating. With the fruits especially and then yeah. waiting after each fruit yeah. a little bit probably, right? Yeah. 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 Well, not well. after each fruit, but... Let my window expand because it's not like getting it done. It's more of like, yeah. Soup ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> what did, did you get a? Um, For a meat salad. Yeah. Mm. Good. That's a lot of peanut butter in there. We've done almost the whole job actually. Well, we started with a full job. Thousand three hundred calories. I chocolate sauce is intense. Yeah. I'm gonna run home from here. <laughs> <laughs> I might melt home. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have a fork too, Drew? Yeah. Thanks. She's got this lovely, lovely, beautiful looking dish. I'm not sure what it is. Foam. Foam. <laughs> oh, that's a foam. No chip bowl today. No, that was a one time go. <laughs> took a while to recover. I'm full. I'm like full now. And have you just recently also started to eat one meal a day? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. How about you? How long have you? Two weeks. One, two weeks, one meal a day, yes. so just started up. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah, so around two months, uh -huh. around four months me, two months to him. Surprisingly good. I'm not sure how long. I'm going to. Around how two long months. for you? One meal a day, two months. Yes, yeah, yeah. around two months behind him as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we all do it slightly different ways. I eat so much more junk food than all of them. She eats a lot more, more food, he eats more, more food. He eats not as much food as me. Do you eat food as well? Yeah. What does it look like? Sorry? What does it look like? Or did you guys already talk about uh, this with everyone? No. Okay. Actually, so before I started one meal a day, I ate mostly fruit. I would say like 90 95% fruit. Yeah for quite a while yeah. and um, both big and um, but I wanted to try it out just for simplicity reasons yeah. and then when yeah. I and also even with the fruits or on fruits I felt the best from what I experienced yeah. up to that point yeah. um, but I didn't like the fact that I had to, that I had to eat so much because I do a lot of sports and I was just eating all day basically and I, my digestion was um, before that was pre pretty bad so yeah. I'm always like with eating a lot and stuffing my face it's not really uh, it wasn't right. the perfect it thing for me. It never gets the rest. Exactly and every time when I fasted I mean I've done a couple of water fasts and stuff 
before and I just knew that fasting is good for me or good for us anyways. And um, so that one meal a day thing totally made sense to me. Yeah. Like, and I just so believe, I mean, just eat, I, I knew that eating three times a day is bullshit. Like, that's yeah. just, yeah. it's just not natural, right? Like, to just eat all day yeah. and have everything available all the time is a new thing. It's not very, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not very uh, natural. No. Um, so I thought it can't be bad, but, and I know as well, even if you wouldn't eat for a couple of days and then eat again, you'd right. be probably better off than eating every day three times, right? Totally. Yeah. Uh, especially if you eat um, good nutrition food. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, and then when I started trying one meal a day, I started eating a lot of cooked food again, yeah. which I thought wouldn't be yeah. that good for me eventually because of my digestion yeah but I was very positively surprised how good it actually worked yeah. once mm -hmm. I was really empty and ate the I always started to eat fruits first yes now with one meal a day yeah. and then waited a little bit and then uh, had a salad or something light mm -hmm. some raw food still salad or vegetables and after that uh, ate some cooked food like rice some beans or quinoa okay. and, but then already after a couple of days I started eating more and more cooked food because I felt like oh hey that's working and uh, it gave me lots of energy so I tended to overeat like yeah. after a couple of days yeah but then figured out pretty quickly that <laughs> this is not the way to do it long term yeah. for sure yeah so um, and now I'm actually at the point where just two three days ago I felt like I want to go back to, to, to fruits because yeah. I love the feeling that I have inside yeah. all day and feeling pretty empty yeah. and light when I eat uh, only fruits. So... Yeah. She keeps giving me loads compared to what the other people do. Like, More strawberry well, vanilla. Said, sorry, I've ran out of all the caramel. You've eaten us all out of caramel. Yeah. You're her best customer. You've eaten all the caramel. Yeah. Nine scoops of ice cream. <laughs> So then you're gonna you're starting to head back to more fruit. So I wanna yeah go back to more fruits. Yeah. And um, yeah see how I can make it work. It works. Yeah, that's why it's I, really interesting and nice to hear that I love it. you are doing that. That's great. Because I did the same thing. I started to eat more cooked too because right away my digestion was um, better than usual. Yeah. And then the same thing. Exactly right. the same thing. I started right. overeating. I didn't feel as healthy. Um, I started getting congestion where I would yeah. be spitting, Me you know, every so often. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah or not every so often, up. but like, yeah. It's the first time now since years that I can yes. remember that I wake up and I have like <clears throat> stuff in my throat yeah. and I'm like spitting it out first thing in the morning I'm like fuck I'm back to that level yeah. that's not good no. yeah um, I don't like that just feels wrong right once yeah. you experience it differently was inflammation that's yeah, what it exactly is exactly mm -hmm. yeah. body throwing mucus out again this so, you don't go back and forth, huh? I do, but not right now. Okay. Does anybody want to try this? How does this taste? Tell the viewers, because they it's, love to know. Oh, yeah. It's very good. It's There's like a gingery. I haven't had po before. Maybe this is what it usually tastes like, but um, it's a bit like sour and savory. It's good. This sauce, it's, you can see, it has little peppers in it, and that makes it much better. It's <laughs> <laughs> just, just like a meal for itself. Loads of different vegetables. Yeah, and there's know. veggies on the side. Well, you showed it to me. How, did, you, how did your Burmese tea leaf salad taste on the potato? Um, I think it's a good mix, actually. Hello. I don't want to come here, but also. Do you, do you want to try this? Hey, puppy. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, we're back to yeah, the I'll just get the whole thing off. Big on sharing and tasting. Those noodles. Do you want any spice there too? Wow, yeah, she's really good at that little ice cream. The other one's taking me nuts. It's still. Yeah. Actually, try this too. Yeah, it's very good, very fresh. Yeah. 
Sure, we That's with um, mushroom. That's the broth. It's a mushroom broth. Strawberries, right? Oh man. Okay. I said it before I say it again, I'm done. <laughs> no, I was going to say you're going to get more then. Yeah. No, that's it, no. That's it for today. You can do one more dessert. I could not. <laughs> I <laughs> think I, I could. Know. I'm going to get that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could, but... Yeah, they're uh, only 100 bars, well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 6 30. Good time to oh, stop. Time. I like last yeah. time we had dessert. He ended up getting yeah, apple, apple pie twice. It's a good one. Like it's yeah, zero. Really good. What's it called? Zero. Zero. Okay, I should get that one. Yeah. It's fractured as well. What's it? Mm -hmm. Zero. Oh. Do you know that one? Yeah, no. No? Yeah, that's a nice one. Tracking uh, apps for fast. You're just using like the timer, right? Mm. Like the, on the phone? No, I've got this new one. It's really good. So, when you start fasting, it tells you when you started fasting, what day, how long it's gone, and then it tells you how close you are to your goal. Nice. Oh. Um, which is really good. And then you can check, like, your stats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then it tells you all your stats that you've had completed. All different ones. Very good. That's good. But it actually has charts as well. What's the name of that one? My Fast. My Fast. Yeah, I've tried a few different ones, yeah. but this one seems the best one so far. And you, but this one you haven't tried, Zero? Mm -hmm. uh, I like that a lot. If you want to check it out, guys. Does it focus? It does. Slowly. So it's called Zero. And it definitely does the job very well, very easy, intuitive. And yeah, also gives you nice stats and graphs of your last week and how much time you still have to go. And yeah, it's pretty pretty nice up down with the peanut butter. Peanut butter again. And it says underneath, talk to your doctor before fasting. <coughs> I would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just me. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Unless <laughs> Yeah. Unless, unless Three your doctor day. looks fucking fantastic, <laughs> is in really great shape, then listen to him. <laughs> if not, think about it. Yeah. Oh wow. Peanut butter, good? Yeah, and peanut butter with the spicy, the pepper, and the noodle. Oh, really She's the peanut butter queen, she loves eating peanut butter. Yeah. 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 And dates. Again. Oh, and yeah. bananas mm. in peanut butter. Yeah. Mm. Just gonna finish that meal quickly. <laughs> How long were you eating fruits? Um, on and off in phases of like exclusively fruits uh, for almost two years. With mm. greens and veggies too, or just exclusively fruits, like you said? Mostly fruits, okay. but also some periods of time having fruits during the day and then the evening finishing off with a salad yeah. and some veggies. Yeah. Um, which, to be honest, looking back, probably made me feel even better than only fruits. Yeah. But I think it's just about which state you are in, right? And yeah, what your yeah. Body needs at the time. exactly. But like eating a big green salad in the evening always made me more satiated, make yeah. me feel mm. more full, and then actually make yeah. it even easier, at least mentally and emotionally, to stick to it. Yeah, um, yeah, and it's savory. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But body, body wise, like just feeling wise and energetic. Uh, energy wise I would say only fruit is for me the best. If I do have the yeah, if I would have to choose feeling wise yeah. still yeah, yeah. fruits. It, they, yeah. I, they make the most sense to me for yeah, the human exactly. body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I found the best when I was living off of just like with with it's just instead of just eating fruit but having like two like four quarts worth of green smoothie a day. Yeah. And I'd have like uh, half a kilo to a kilo of organic greens a day, like blended in them. Where I was having that amount of green blended in them. Where I was having that amount of greens, it was like, whoa. Like, it made me feel really alive. Like, yeah. 
just like green juicy soon. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, greens definitely uh, well, feel right. So alkalizing and minimal dense, like so. And even now, eating one meal a day, I'm feeling best when I have still a lot of raw food mixed yeah. into it. Yeah, I like, ate a lot before I came here. Right. Yeah. I had a lot of fruit before I got here. Yeah, And she always looks like she's pregnant after she's finished eating. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, the other day she's definitely like she's pregnant, like six yeah. months pregnant. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Because I've always eaten a lot my belly has... Knows how to expand. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, this is oh. easy for me. The one yeah. people like, oh, you keep but you won't eat enough. I'm like, no, I got it. <laughs> don't, don't you worry yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be eating for two days. Easy. <laughs> uh. Wow, that is so spicy. It's, there's yeah. not a lot of like spicy around. Well, I guess it's the Thai chili. Yeah, when you when Thai people say spicy, they mean like extra spicy. But in these Western places, it has uh, uh, like they'll give you jalapeno, and uh, it's like it tastes sweet. Yeah. Thai style, they add so many uh, chili seeds, for sure. Yeah, we highly recommend that you come to Eco as well, as I mentioned earlier. Eat.co, cool. especially for the Absolutely. Dessert. I think the co stands for um, conscious. I believe I just heard that. Go ahead. Eating consciously. No, it stands for connect. Really? Yeah. Oh, somebody I just said on it. No, I'm for sure. One hundred percent. No, uh, just just <laughs> recently a friend of mine, Camille. Uh -huh. um, he made a really nice uh, new trailer for them here oh, and nice. talked to the owner and they were talking about what kind of um, movie to make mm -hmm. and they were telling him a little bit about the concept so it's about eating obviously uh -huh. and connecting whilst eating so that different people kind of come uh -huh. together and connect oh, whilst that's eating. That's yeah. perfect yeah. because I've been uh -huh. Thank you. She got the potato now. Ah, there we go. Cooked, just gotta let the people try. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Mm. Fresh. Just a very light. Yeah. Still yeah, steaming. Steam. Yeah. <laughs> she was saying the Eco Bruntry, the woman there, makes the peanut butter and jelly cakes there. Yeah. Uh, you know Eco Bruntry? Yeah, in terms of that. Yeah, so they've got another yeah. Eco that's open to like four, and they do stacks of gluten free waffles, but they also do the peanut butter and jelly cake, vegan yeah. one, and it is like, oh my god, but I didn't know that they made it. And they yeah. sometimes bring it here, but she said if you want it, go oh, there. Yeah. Right. So maybe tomorrow I might have to go to eat Co oh. <laughs> The day before the pizza. Bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> that is actually a bad idea. No, I need to do it like I'm doing it. I need our fast before. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll be able to eat, eat more. Yeah, I think I've already done like a 27 hour fast around that. Yeah. I actually <laughs> just like on the weekend, so today is Sunday, right? On Friday. Friday to Saturday I did like 36 hours and it was so easy. Yeah? Oh, like I've mean, done it before. Or? Yeah, yeah, I've been fasting a lot before. Yeah, like, but like yeah, extended periods. Yeah, longer ones, yeah. like seven days. I've done wow. that like four, five times, four and a half times. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, but um, 36 hours yesterday after doing two weeks of one meal a day seemed so easy yeah. because yeah, easy I mean the first yeah. couple of hours right the first 20 hours or like first 15 hours are the hardest mm -hmm. if, for me at least right, like I right, do have right. sometimes usually in the morning yeah. I guess or like when it comes to yeah. noon like between 10 and 12 I sometimes get a little yeah. hunger then uh, today I actually drank a black coffee which I usually never do like uh, the, the last coffee before that was maybe like three or four years ago <laughs> and I had a coffee and I, after that I was completely fine again yeah. until we met yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and that doesn't break the fast yeah. right no, 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 no. so just a black coffee gave me energy um, took away my hunger and I felt fantastic until, and it, like I said before, um, when we met at four, I wasn't even hungry yeah. then. So and that was That's when hard. I was 20 hours in the past. And um, so to put another half a day on top of that, on top of that, where you're sleeping five, six, seven hours, anyways, yeah. super easy, right? Yeah. So I, I was that kind of made me think. I mean, I did that just intuitively because I didn't feel like eating. I'm just listening to my body, and I was like, I'm not hungry, so I'm not eating. And then I thought uh, I might as well try to implement that on a daily 
that was sorry on a weekly basis, so I do one day per week, maybe just fasting anyway. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah my, my dad does that. We are uh, synchronous here. <laughs> yeah. I was just telling him too because we were at the Wim Hof together, ah. and um, that I was like I had to tell myself like, okay, I guess you should eat. It's getting late, you know, because like, I don't like yeah, to eat late. Yeah, the same. Late, late. Yeah. more in tune with my body. Yeah, yeah. Um, than ever, and so Friday. It's my fast day unless I feel that it needs to be the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next day I'll split up my meals a little bit so that I eat mostly longer. Yeah, more long time. Um, like two meals in the day instead of one after the right. day of fast. Yeah, so yeah, that I have yeah. only fruit so it flushes even nice. more. And then I go back that's, into the water. Oh, that's, I like that. Yeah. yeah, that would have probably taken me another two weeks <laughs> to figure it out by myself. <laughs> and so that saved me some time. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I can already feel that word. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, my dad does one one day fast every week as well. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, really likes very it. good. Yeah. And yeah, my mm. sister's just on a day four of a walk fast as well. It's the longest mm. fast she's ever done. Wow. Oh, yeah. that's so funny. Uh, Lucy, who looks like 23. Oh, nice. yeah. Good effort. Like mm. it. Keep yeah. going. She said she's finding it really easy not getting hungry. Yeah. Like I've done almost up to seven days and not felt hungry even into almost seven it's, days into a fast. It's just in the mind. Yeah. yeah. And it's only in the beginning. Like, yeah, isn't it yeah. like uh, you just see the second day is the hardest? Like, then you get into your body it switches uh, yeah yeah just just that, all that, yeah, yeah, the yeah. doses I just a couple of days ago read uh, about this guy again that you guys probably heard of as well like I think it was an English British guy that um, he was a little overweight um, or like a bit overweight yeah and he fasted on water for one year yeah you yeah, 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 yeah 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 he was supervised like, in a hospital doing this. Supervised yeah. and they uh, checked on him and he was completely fine. He didn't have any deficiencies yeah. after that. He was he was fine. Yeah, and he was really only water for yeah. like, and his body was just running on the fat that he yeah. had. Uh, yeah, because he had a lot, of, a lot of yeah. fat. He had so quite a bit like, of fat. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you have to have like yeah. a little bit yeah. amount of fat. Some, yeah, yeah, I couldn't do like, that. No, I'd die. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah, you'd be gone after out. like eight and a half days. <laughs> 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 I said he would be gone up yeah, there in a half day. Yeah, he's just disappearing in smoke. And his last word would be like, ice cream. Yes. Banoffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Banana banoffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, daily intermittent fast is good, but extended water fast is really good for getting more on like greater benefits of detoxification, greater weight loss benefits, greater autophagy effects, which is self cannibalism in the body, which gets rid of old cells and undigested proteins and other things that aren't functioning so well. So, if you're someone who wants to do some very deep healing or speed up weight loss benefits, extended water fast is good, but make sure that you do loads of research on it and that you're careful with it and don't force yourself to go too long. Make sure you refeed carefully with smaller amounts of fruits or green juice. Don't go be eating McDonald's and junk food that will just destroy it and make you feel bad. But yeah, extended water fasting is amazing. And if you're on thyroid medication, you don't want to do more than a day. So it's different medication for yeah. all to your body. But thyroid's the one that's the most um, sensitive to that. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Not more than a day, you said, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I've done, I've, I've done two days, but I've been told not to do more than a day. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's yeah. good to know, yeah. I didn't know that. No. But yeah, that's the thing, right, if you do that a day for a couple of times, <coughs> you, know, you can slowly, when you feel better, yeah. right, when your body yeah. did some healing, then you just recently met a Israeli friend that uh -huh. told me about that he had Hashimoto's yeah. disease. Yeah? That's what I have. That's what you have? That's what I'm healing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he healed it in, uh, he, uh, you haven't met him yet, Itama? No. Yes, at the food uh, food meetings, fruitarian meetings, he's no, he's always ah, oh, he's not oh, here anymore. Oh really? Yeah, he like, couldn't give you his contact. Anyways, like he healed um, Hashimoto's disease, which is apparently like uh, yeah, uh, uncurable. not uncurable yeah. autoimmune disease. Yeah, and he completely healed it. Um, also with proofs by the doctors, he went back to. Um, to the doctors and got it checked and he had no sign of Hashimoto's anymore in 21 days water fast. Um, uh, that's it. Well see and that's what I've been thinking of doing. So I've been slowly decreasing my dosage. I get checked regularly and, and, and yeah. all of everything. And they said that I wouldn't have been able to do that. I was in the highest dose, dosage of um, hormone that you can be on. 
and progressively, especially Hold since up. I've been here, it's, my thyroid's speeding up much quicker, right. um, all the things I've been doing here. Um, but as far as water fasting, that was the one thing. It's like, if, you know, like Dr. Let's see. No, or, no, 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 True North Center. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Gabriel. No, no, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's I know a water, True North it's, Center. Though. Yeah, it's a water fasting um, place, and a lot of other water fasting. That's the one thing that if you have your own thyroid hormone, they tell you they have to be careful with that slowly, because they have to yeah, slowly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I thought of going. It's interesting. And doing I mean, that, but talk it's to him. Like I, I only know that he did it in Costa Rica at Lauren oh. Lockman's oh, okay. farm. Um, yeah. And Farm. Some farm secret going to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, farm. I don't know what they're doing. Farming yeah, people like, go with farm fasting. See for yourself. <laughs> farming yeah, yeah. Make sure you <laughs> bring <laughs> your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but like check that out because I'm no. pretty sure he said that he just stopped that. taking the medication. But I don't know what kind of. Well, he's been on a much lower dose. Exactly, I don't know what kind yeah. and what kind of dose. So. Right. Um, I got off of the, the main like Western medicine a long time ago. Mm. I mean, I stopped taking it completely for a while, but I definitely had the effects. I'd like you yeah. needed yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't notice it so much because I just adjusted always being tired yeah, yeah, um, yeah. before. But Interesting. Yeah, I'll have to connect. How, to how is it? Like, do you know if just eating fruits? If somebody's uh, having issues with thyroid, is that that's helpful. good, very yeah, helpful? Yeah. I mean, that's where I've been seeing a lot of my progress. Right. So one of them is okay. uh, it's holistic, though. It's not just what you eat, yeah. Yeah. of course. Um, but that's a good part. So an another point, I'm asking so much because my mom has some issues with her thyroid or something. Is there anything yeah. else that you, uh, that helped you a lot? Um, because you're just mentioning it, like... Yeah, um, well, sauna, you know, sweating, yeah. and, and yeah. the temperature change, Wim Hof, going into the ice baths. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of mental work. Yeah. So I do the work of Iron Katie, yeah. and it's re you know I, anything that's stuck yeah. going in there and undoing. Sure. Yeah. And because stuckness here is what stuckness is it? Here. What is it like? What is uh, the thyroid um, connected with? Like I don't um, have spiritually I, or like uh, mentally. Well, they say that autoimmune diseases a lot of the times start with some kind of big grievance, some traumatic event. Okay. And and this is just one theory. There's right, a lot of different right. things. Gut, there's all these different theories, yeah, yeah. Um, and that the body reacts, responds to that Even, too, yeah, much. too much, yeah, yeah. and um, and then perpetuates, you know, yeah. autoimmune. Yeah. Okay. And so it's it's a lot of self love, self care. Yeah. Any everything that's in the healing umbrella. Right. You know? So yeah, I've yeah. been applying all of them. But I can get more specific with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's Thank like uh, people with arthritis. It's normal. And Which cancer. I had, and I cured. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah, arthritis and cancer is normally linked to unresolved anger and resentment. Like a lot of that, for sure. Um, the throat. So the throat chakra. Uh, yeah. Speaking your truth. Right. Much deeper than that, though. Yeah. It's just like expressing. I don't know. There's. The, it, it could be so many layers, but yeah. yes, expressing that. So I'm singing a lot now. I'm having big releases in, in a dance. I'm doing a lot of things mm -hmm. that's connected. In a, in a dance? Yeah. Okay. Never heard that. Okay. It's it's uh, not a dance as you know it, but yeah. you, you lie on the mat and have music and yeah. it can take you on a on a journey. Right. Um, he experienced it as well. And for me, it's been a lot of emotional release, a lot of visions. So it's with music? It's with music that goes certain um, frequencies. frequencies <laughs> and so that your mind kind of goes tick, 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 and then. Um, and you just completely it release. If you surrender to it all, then it can touch you on the emotional level, wow. on the physical level, um, and on the, the spiritual level. Or, Interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been very powerful where, where for is me. That? Like, or where they have it here on the island yeah. um, at least once a week. In which yeah, place? it's quite popular. I'll, yeah. yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll send it to you. Awesome, thank yeah. you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes bit my, bit my foot. You know, they're trying to bite me now. Oh, gonna... Don't like them at all. Just 
just because you can't eat them. No. You not bite back. It comes <laughs> yeah, we're going to cut it there. So thanks for watching. Mm. We'll all catch you later. Peace. Mm. Bye bye. The next outro is coming up and I actually made this in the first restaurant and not the second one. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the outro. If you'd like us to make more videos, the mukbang vegan videos, what one meal a day, let us know down below. And yeah, definitely check out his channel, which the link to be down below. Like I said, definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions for me or him, let us know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button down below if you like the video. <laughs> Share this with all of your friends and family members and anyone else that you think might want to watch this amazing vegan mukbang video. And make sure that you click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on this channel every single day with eight out fail, no excuses, just pushing through it forward and getting it done. Because yeah, I want to share as much information as possible in the shortest period of time. Uh, but yeah, people need it. And yeah, the type of videos you can expect to see are types of videos like this, these mukbang videos, calisthenics videos, calisthenics progression videos, workout videos, videos teaching you about intermittent fasting and eating one meal a day and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to become a greater version of yourself and push yourself to your greatness but also to teach you many different things to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body inside of fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those games. Peace.